I want to talk about two wars that are spinning out of control in the Middle East and Ukraine. In terms of the Middle East, Israel is continuing its genocide in Gaza and now has opened a catastrophic war in Lebanon. It thinks that by targeting Nezrallah, it's going to weaken Hezbollah, but we see increased calls throughout the region for revenge against Israel. And of course, Netanyahu is still gunning for another war, a war with Iran, which will blow up the entire region. That's why 124 countries came together at the United Nations, horrified and saying, we must stop Israel. But of course, the United States is not among those nations and continues to send two shipments of weapons to Israel every single day. The war in Ukraine, we find a similar pattern. The world community is looking at horror. While most of them condemned Russia for invading Ukraine, they want to find a solution. That's why 20 countries came together just now at the United Nations called Friends of Peace, headed by Brazil and China. And they are calling for a negotiated solution and they have the support of 110 nations. But guess who is not part of that? The United States. The United States is not interested in a negotiated solution. The United States makes money from these wars and so do its allies like the UK and the other so-called Western democracies. But we, the people and the rest of the world knows that war is not the answer. And that is why we must push those quote, Western democracies out of the way and make room for the real peacemakers. The fate of the world depends on it.